Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Miles Nayanjama here and today I have another remote task video. This is uh, concerning how to create an account. You just go to the Cosiro website and then you search what account you want. For example, there's a coding expert account and then with the profile you search and it, it you go you go through the uh, information which includes how it pays and the profiles and which specific states or countries can one apply from and then you click on apply today Sorry, my network is not that stable. Yeah, so after clicking on that, it gives you this pop up uh, menu where you get to sign into the remote task. You enter your full name, email, password, and then you sign up. Or you can uh, as well continue with Google with your Google account or the account that you want. Okay, so that's one option. And the next one you can, that's for the US, US profile. And now for the Indian profile, you search um, remote coding expert India. That is you, if you want a coding expert. There are many projects, there are many projects for a re, for remote account. So for this one, I'm going, um, specifically, um, doing on the expert, the coder expert account for India, it pays that three USD per hour. And for the, you, for the USA, we saw it was $45 per one hour and then click on the coding experts click on apply now and yeah you get to see the earnings $16 to $50 USD per hour will be determined by and those other things and we know for coding expert we use the Python Java JavaScript and such languages so when applying for such projects um, you have to know how to go through it because it requires uh, some coding and program skills for one to uh, to start the screening the screening uh, process so there's <coughs> many types of coding experts and this one is for the one which is known as t3 and let's see how it pays so yeah, it has some instruction there and required experience required the qualification three years of experience in software engineering and earning is forty five dollars per hour and it has stated which countries one has to apply from and now we're getting into the into the applying for the account so this is the introduction part where you get to uh get to where they show you some instructions and and start up on how to start and then here you have the security uh, you have to go through the security check yeah and then we're at number two social networking and dangers we read through you read through it until uh, you finish the page you go to the next one and it, so here it gives you some questions um and then these questions are based uh, on what you've learned in the introduction so you just select the correct answer and you continue you select the, the correct answer as you uh, continue when you select when you do not select like for example if you select an incorrect answer uh, it will not uh, prompt you to go to go to the next to the next question. So uh, you must answer the answer must be correct so that you can go to the next 
question so we are at security seven uh, verse seven and now you finished the first uh, training and now to the next one okay the first one was security training and now we're going to the next um training yeah so this is introduction to remote task and you start tasking now here in tasking is what is um here in tasking is where you get to see the exact project that you the account is going to be given so there's some warning there uh, but we ignore you ignore it and then let's wait and see so welcome to every remote task specs remote task PC specs question on um, here the the company wants to know if if you are um, aware of the project and how it works so after going through this uh it it will then allow you to go to the onboarding process welcome to remote task experts here is a brief uh, on the same about remote task how it works onboarding process in case you you stagnated somewhere you can get help yeah by contacting them yeah account verification um so here is um, you have to verify your identity um by uh, actually i did a, a video on verification if you've not watched it you can go back and watch it they basically want your number and they'll send a code a six digit code and then you get to here to enter here and then yeah so in the verifications uh you have to confirm your id double check if you are over 18 years if your device has good quality like you have to use a device that has that um, that takes good quality pictures photos of the id and and you don't have to use vpns so for example if you are in africa and someone in the like you you want to create a usa account it is a device that someone from uh, the exact ip address to create for you to create for you from there and then uh, you'll be given the account later so it's you can use your id or your nssf uh, card is it a social social number social security yeah something of that after you've done and read uh, all through that page uh you will just go through uh, to the next page if if it does not if it does not allow you to go to the next one then you have to re-enter the details um correctly maybe you had uh, done some mistake so for us the the account let's see oh my goodness it's taking a single sorry for the delay i guess my internet is misbehaving to some extent So um yeah I'm beginning 
how to verify how it's saying hi thank you for interesting remote us we need some information to help us confirm your identity so they send an email to your to my inbox and yeah they send some information there and then you'll do as they tell you then i click begin verifying Oh, my internet is kind of misbehaving. Okay, so after successful verification, they will send you an email uh, telling you that you continue with your screening you continue with the onboarding screening and as you know screening is the determinant that you're going to be given a project or not so stay tuned so that i can show you how to do uh, the onboarding screening for your account